Hello and uh, welcome to Caravan Salon. I have in front of me this vehicle from Carmen Mobile. It is an off-road uh, vehicle. It is um, called the Dexter 560. It's a six meter, just under six meter vehicle on the Ford uh, Transit Base, 206 centimeters in width. And this thing here is going to come at a cost of 72,000 euros. It's 279 centimeters in height. I can three and a half ton basis you would have on this. It's not written here, but I would say this, you're probably easily looking at 500 kilos of payload. The vehicle itself actually dates to uh, the 2020 season so it's been around for some time and uh, in uh, this case uh, I'd have to say that uh, the, big, the biggest difference from when this uh, originally appeared I have filmed every edition of this van and we're now uh, looking at uh, a major price increase of course it's very difficult to actually say how much the price increases are because always hidden by additional equipment this vehicle here has a width wise bed which is about 190 centimeters uh, long if you're over 190 centimeters then you're going to have to get uh, a uh, lengthwise bed it comes with saving space, a, a rather small wardrobe with a bit here you can take out if necessary. So your clothing will hang down on the bed. I tried that as well and it didn't really work out very well for me. In here, well, it was an experiment. I hadn't tried it, I wouldn't have known. Uh, the storage here is quite large, I'd have to say for a vehicle of this nature, and uh, we've also got additional things here as well. Now, uh, down here, we've got one of these slide out things. There you are, slide out pantry. I think they're great. And here, I think, the, why the hole in there? That is to help you get into bed, is it? Oh, there must be somebody who must have a small foot. Or is it really just there to help you lift the thing up? The point of actually taking something like this up is uh, you might have something like skis or I don't know, bits of scaffolding or tell me something else which is long and thin and uh, it, it would go uh, longer than the bed and that's the sort of thing you could actually carry in there. Now if you were so inclined you can take the mattress up and I'll put the mattress to one side. Obviously it's easy if you use two hands to do these things. And this thing here will come up. This one won't come up because there's a board on it. And the reason the board's there, there you go, but it's been inserted incorrectly by whoever made this up. But seeing as everything's up, I shall try and demonstrate that there's also storage under here. Is that clear? <laughs> and uh, uh, so you've got extra storage there under the bed. And of course, you can use this down there. But I'll have a look at the rear uh, as, as I come out. Here we've got a sink and we've got two burners on the other side. You can't expect more in a vehicle of this size. Obviously under the kitchen there's a bit of storage and fridge around here. So I've got a bag on my back so that's why I'm having difficulty here getting, getting past. Uh, the uh, door to the uh, wet room is my favorite type of door for wet rooms. Although somebody has pointed out it's difficult to keep these things clean. Yeah, well, I suppose, it, I suppose it, would, it would be. Yeah, right, toilet, shower. Here's me, see how much space there is. And I need to point out as well that the duckboard is still here. Now, uh, there you go, you can see there's only one 
that it's not invisible yet uh, there's only one uh, drainage hole and it's an old one at that so that is unfortunate in my opinion there's also a bit of storage here as well as a sink you could use a sink for storage if you wanted to um, I, I don't really like um, uh, moving parts but uh, this one here isn't actually too bad I think uh, you can see that here there's the, uh, the, the the hose taking the water out it's an old sat dial um, small uh, camper van type uh, drainage as well so there's two different drainage holes and I don't like either of them myself uh, comes with this skylight, which uh, if you're in the van and you have a shower and it's hot, it might come in handy. You don't want to get too much steam in your vehicle. There's a bit of storage up here and in there. Uh, table, well, it's a six meter van. I suppose it can't really get much uh, much bigger than that. I like to have a big table. I do appreciate some people don't. There is an extension down here which will come come out. You have to pull this thing out first on it, and only two hands to do that with. Uh, let's go to the back and have a look at that. So, uh, shelf shelf in here, which will which can be removed if necessary, and uh, in order to remove that bit down there, as I said earlier, and even if you're moving that bit or pushing that bit up, then you'd have space for long carrying long things. Uh, storage, uh, uh, as I pointed out from the top, and you also have an entry to the storage down there, and in here we have got. The gas cupboard. There you go. And in Germany, you must have a proper gas cupboard, otherwise you won't get a certificate for it. Which means that some self-building people are opting for other forms of uh, uh, gas storage, such as uh, um, the, the, these cassette things. So this is the one with a uh, lengthwise bed. Sorry, widthwise bed transverse bed as some people call it and here I'll show you the one with the lengthwise bed same price vehicles the same so the dimensions are the same it's only that in this case we have got a different uh, layout completely there's lengthwise bed so for taller people two meter long bed there'll be more description more information on, on the in, in the description of course so uh, here similar but here no bench and the table is uh, there so you put the table up when you need it and as there's no bench you have to use the driver's seat and the passenger seat for when you're eating and relaxing and etc although the seats are very comfortable good so thanks very much for watching hope you found that interesting and uh, i upload every 20 every day 2115 uh, and uh, there's my uh, site is the largest site on YouTube on van life so not only have I got uh, new vehicles like this some older vehicles from <laughs> I mean they were new when I filmed them but they're older now and uh, one or two historical ones and plenty of places I have been to including campsites and other destinations so thanks very much and uh, all the best from me in Dusseldorf.